Hey friends, it's Charles here, and here it's time to talk about comics. And I want to talk about a great number one I'm excited to play, and is not disappointed that is Daredevil, Woman Without Fear. If you're not familiar with this series, this is Elektra taking on the mantle of Daredevil. Um, if you're following the current Daredevil run, you will know that she's been working beside him as Daredevil, but this is venturing into more of her own adventures. I believe it begins right after number eight of that series. Um, it starts off, you know, with a very, very creative way of giving you some uh, information, a prelogue, if you will. Put that on the screen right here. But it's a shot of the Daily Bugle, you know, with the uh, head of Woman Without Fear, and it goes into you know, her background and uh, who she is suspected to be. And below that, we are the dangerous um, going into this new Punisher and who he may be in speculation. And then a missing poster for a missing orphan. Um, so it introduces you to the main three protagonists and not the usual, you know, heavy handed. This is this and this and this is where we are but in a more creative way. And I mean, it's a great looking panel. Um, you know, and it's just good stuff. And it introduces on the bottom, the writer, Erica Schultz, artist, Michael Dowling, colorist, D. Conneith Fee, and the letterer, Lisey's Clayton Cowles, and uh, other production credits below that. And so, I mean, as far as creativity goes, this gets an A plus in my book. And now on the next page, you see that the missing girl is a kind of adopted protege of Electra. And it goes into some real nice character beats. And you really get a taste for the art style and what to expect. And it is, you know, it's hard to describe. Um, I almost want to say it's photorealistic, though it's not, I mean, the proportions of people are photorealistic, though the coloring and the drawings, you know, are of course comic book style. Um, I think you get the best of both worlds, something realistic that doesn't go into the uncounted valley. And this is the art style that is consistent throughout. Um, and that's another thing with this book, is the art draws you in, and it you know, really takes you to another place. And you know, there's so much in the action and the movement. Every action makes sense, and the action tells a story. Um, you know, there is a big climactic fight scene toward the end it takes place on the train and you know through the fight scene through limited dialogue and through you know creative action you really get insight to the electric character you know who this new electric is as the daredevil and her motives and you know what she wants to accomplish um you know i don't want to give away too many spoilers but the story is this protege of hers gets taken by a nefarious group that wants to manipulate Electra somehow. And so now we're off to the, uh, you know, taken stage where Electra shows off her very specific set of skills. We have Mason style. And it also, I believe, is an attempt to, um, you know, introduce the new Punisher to more characters because he makes you know, a cameo um, at the, toward the end of the big climactic fight and, um, you know, the last panel, you know, features, you know, him and you're not sure what his motives are and uh, what his intentions are. And, you know, when I, when I, I got the first couple of issues of Garrison as the Punisher, and I'm going to be honest with you, I was not too impressed. Um, you know, I really prefer Frank Castle in that role. 
and I don't think they changed the character enough to warrant, you know, um, pushing Clint Castle aside for a new Punisher. But, you know, this is a Daredevil Electra story. You know, maybe this would be a good way of, you know, reintroducing myself and the brief familiarize with the character. And the most important thing is his addition takes nothing away from the story. And so, you know, it's a nice, harmless way of getting this character in front of eyes who may have given up on the story early or who haven't checked it out yet. Um, I think this is a tremendous book from the cover to the art, especially the um, writing. Um, I can't I can't recommend it enough. It is four ninety nine, but for that four ninety nine, you're getting a lot of pages, a lot of stories. And one thing I've noticed is that when they have these higher price points, with number one. It's usually because, well, of course, you have the added value of it being the number one. But they're really stretching the story out to get a lot of information and a lot of introductory um, story into this world. And the following issues are usually the three ninety nine price point. Like I said, it's what I've noticed with you know recent books like Get Fury and other number ones. And usually the book will be a little bit shorter. And back at that $3.99 price point. So don't let the sticker shocks, you know, the sticker shock dissuade you from checking out this book. Um, you know, you're getting a value for your money. Um, if I can say anything uh, that really separates my channel from a lot of these channels, because there are a lot of great channels. They go into comic books, they go into action figures, and they go into their culture. But these are guys with, um, you know, a lot more financial means. They may have sponsorships. They may get out, they, they may get sent out, you know, early review things, you know, from the company. I have none of that. Anything that I show you is going to be something that you can afford. And when I see you get a lot of value out of this, trust me. Anyway, so that's been my, you know, uh, review of Daredevil. Woman Without Fear, number one. I'm very excited for number two. Get to your shop. Check this book out. You will not be disappointed. And if you do not have a local comic book shop, check out my friends who work at coffeeandacomic.com. Um, you know, to the end of August, when you use code O-L-D-N-E-R-D-W-Y, you get 15% off. And so go show them some love over at Coffee and Comic. I'll see you next time. Until then, keep reading them books. And let me know in the comments what you think of this. I'm out.